Hey, what is up everybody? It's Nash. So this is one of those issues that has been bugging me for like a week or so now. Basically what happened is I updated my NVIDIA GeForce drivers along with the Realtek audio drivers, which automatically updated the Nehemic driver as well. And ever since I have been facing an issue with the recording. So basically if I'm recording a game or desktop in general, what happens is the video comes out to be fine. Uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience is able to record the audio coming from the microphone stream fine. Whereas the audio that's coming from the PC itself, the internal audio recording, uh, I've been experiencing severe lag or stutter to the point where it isn't usable. So in this video, I would like to provide you with a solution. These are the two solutions that do not require you to uninstall the Nehemi driver. From what I saw, many of the solutions that are posted on YouTube and other forums require you to uninstall the Nehemic driver. The reason I don't want to uninstall it is because of the fact that I really like the Nehemic driver because of the good sound enhancement it provides. And this has been specific to MSI and ASUS boards as far as I know, uh, but basically this can happen with any other motherboard that provides you with a sound enhancement engine like Nehemic or I guess ASUS provides you with DTS sound unbound. So long story short, I'll try to keep this video as short as possible, preferably under five minutes and let's go. So first off, I got to show you what problem I'm facing. So I have these two recordings. One of them is before I applied the fix. So if I play this recording, you can see that it's currently playing the video and the audio from the microphone stream. I have set it to where it uh, separates both of the audio streams on my system, the internal one and the microphone one currently is playing the microphone one. This is a test audio recording with NVIDIA GeForce Experience and with Nahimik switched on. Yeah, so this was before I applied the fix and if I try to switch it to system sounds and if within the recording I play, I press the play button on YouTube, you would hear how laggy the audio is. So this is what has been happening for about a week or maybe two. This is this video has been recorded after I applied the fix. And now you would be able to see first we'll verify that the microphone is working Experience. and with Nahimic service turned on. Yeah. So the microphone has been working and if I try to play the video now. All right, so we have verified that the fix works. Basically, there are two ways to do this. One of them isn't so convenient and the other one requires you to restart the system, but it works. Uh, it, it involves disabling your Nehemic driver. So let's get on with the first one. I'll post a timestamp where I actually start with the solution in the video. So you have to navigate to real tech. You can just navigate to your Windows search bar and type real tech and you would find real tech audio console here. If you have this installed on your system, well and good, you would see this console. For me, it opens with the speaker configuration screen by default uh, on the default audio output that you have set. For me, it's the 3.5 mm jack in my PC. I also have a digital uh, output from the PC. So if you are using that, feel free to tinker with the settings there. I don't have anything plugged in here. But since this, this is my default, I would have to go here. Then you have to navigate to this uh, where it shows the number of channels that are being outputted. So you have to switch it to 7.1. I've tried all of them, but 7.1 worked for me. Uh, 5.1 didn't work, quadrophonic didn't work. And of course, stereo didn't work because that's the default that I was using. So once you switch it to 7.1, you don't have to click apply or okay or anything. This applies everything by itself. Uh, but one of the problems that you're going to face here, I'm not going to switch it to 7.1 because it might affect my recording. What happens is if you switch it to 7.1 and if you have a stereo headphone plugged in your 3.5 mm jack, you won't be able to hear the extra audio channels that the 7.1 system adds to your headphone, headphone or audio output basically. So for this to work, you would have to have a true 7.1 headphone. So like the Razer TI mat or something. So yeah, that adds to some inconvenience there, but if you want a sure shot way of this working, this should work on every motherboard, uh, because it involves just disabling the sound enhancement. So what you have to basically do is go to run and you have to type services.msc and then press okay. 
so you would see that this window opens up there's another way to do this if i just place the window here and if i type services here windows search automatically finds the app for you and it opens the same thing as you can see so let's just go into this and if i for me my sound enhancement engine's name is nahimic so i have to find the nahimic service in this list of services and if i click on any one of these and press the n key on my keyboard it straight away takes me to nahimic service and if i double click this you would actually see another window pop up these are the properties for the service and as you can probably see i set it to disable because i wanted to disable this uh, but you can set it to automatic if you want to re-enable this but you have to restart your system every time you do this so for me i disabled it clicked on apply clicked on ok and now if you can see the service shows up as a disabled service here because of which the sound enhancement has been disabled now you would restart your pc i'm not going to do that because again it would mess up my recording i have already done that but now if you navigate to nahimic app you would be greeted with this error message your audio driver is not up to date or your system is not compatible because of the fact that the service has been disabled so now you know the reason why this error message pops up because of the fact that the service has been disabled from background uh, by us manually so yeah this should fix uh, anything related to audio that you have on your nvidia drivers but sadly your nahimic sound enhancement won't be enabled from here on if you wanted to enable go change the setting again if you like this video if you found this video tutorial quick and easy hit the like button hit the subscribe button check out the content that i've posted before and if you like the nature of videos that i do i'm basically into diverse content and i thought to myself that i haven't made a video solving a query uh, this this has been one of the most annoying things that has happened uh, in my system because i have recorded a gameplay for like a one to two hours and only to find out that the audio was so bad that i had to delete the gameplay anyway so that's it from me guys if you like to see more tutorials slash videos addressing workarounds or bugs or just ways you can make your stuff run better than before do let me know in the comments down below and if you have any valuable inputs on the workaround that i showed you in this video make sure to let me know in the comment section as well as the questions you might have about this video about the thing that i showed you in this video if you have some doubts i would be more than happy to resolve them and yeah that's it stay tuned see you in the next one